So this last horror story I have, I would suggest not reading it while you're home alone like I did, because then you're going to think that every noise you hear is someone to come after you. So this was a really freaky one. It's called Even If We Break, and it's by Marike Nijnkamp, and she's from the Netherlands. So even before reading the story, I noticed a lot of things drawing me in from the cover that made it even more suspenseful. The cover on the front, it says, their story ends tonight. On the back, it says, five friends go to a cabin. Four of them are hiding secrets. Three years of history bind them. Two are doomed from the start. One person wants to end this. No one is safe. Are you ready to play? And then on the bottom, I'm noticing a comment uh, from Karen McManus, which is an author that I recognize. One of us is lying. Some of you might be reading that. So just knowing that this author liked the book and I like that author's books, that means I probably am going to enjoy this one. So going into the story, we have five different characters. And it's one of those where each chapter is going to bring you through the lens of a different character. So we've got Finn... Ever, Maddie, Carter, and Leva. So as the chapters switch, you then go to what that person is experiencing. So in a horror book like this, it was crazy when it started getting into the action moments that you're like looking through one of the character's eyes and then it shifts to another one and it adds to the, the horror of it all. So the, what's happening in this book is these five friends were really close ones. And as they develop the characters, you kind of figure out that something happens between them that makes them stray from each other. And they're hoping that this weekend that they're coming together in this cabin, that it's going to reunite the friendships and hopefully bring them back together because they're a little bit broken right now. And these this friendship formed where these kind of diverse characters that you wouldn't think would normally be friends um, came together because they all enjoyed this game that um, Ever, the main, one of the main characters, that she made up this game. And it really reminds me of like a Dungeons and Dragons type of game where you've got like the game master that's telling the story and then they roll the dice to figure out what's going to happen next. And they all come together and a lot of the game is like a murder mystery so as they're going through and rolling the dice they're figuring out a murder and solving it and that's the the premise of the game that they play so they're coming to this cabin to have like one really good last game before they all branch out after high school and go their separate ways and the game turns wrong and things start happening where um this very uh seemingly innocent game turns to murder and you're trying to figure out who is behind the murders is it one of them is it an outside source and you're going through the experience like I said through all of their different eyes uh, I was trying to figure out who the murderer was till the very end and another element to this story that I think this author does a really good job. She likes to bring diversity into stories is that the characters um, kind of break some of those gender norms where there's uh, a gender fluid type of character. There's a uh, another character that identifies as a different gender. So there's that dynamic to the story too that I think that not a lot of stories bring that in. So uh, it adds an extra element to the, the development of these characters. So try, even if we break, it is definitely an edge of the sea nail biter. Uh, and I hope you enjoy it. <laughs>